Hi, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to use stencil to create some stickering effect. Let's say you want to write something on the model or texture and let's say you want some symbol or some downloaded texture here and you want to print that on this object. So we can do that by using stencil here. So let's see that how to do this. So I have already downloaded some PNG images and let me first import those into substance painter so let's go to file import resources and let's go to art resource and here is the destination i have no downloaded all these images you can see these are png images uh, i think except this one it says uh, jpeg i don't know so i think uh, you can see these are png format images that means the background is transparent so let's import these images okay open those and now let's make them defined as texture so click here and just make those textures so define as texture and then we are going to import into project character texturing here and import and those are going to be here inside this you no know, substance painter uh, self if you go to project you will find those and you can see those here at the recent area okay so now let me show you how to use those textures to you know, to print on objects so first thing i'm going to work with this one so we're going to print here you can do that anywhere let me first create a layer for this so i'm going to create a normal layer not a fill layer just a normal layer and on this layer i'm going to you know, turn on this stencil or the projection option so let's click on this projection turn on that and with this and this layer is selected i'm going to turn off everything except the color so the color is the only option which is active everything else is you know, deactive or disabled okay so uh, inside this material i'm going to drag and drop that texture so let's drag and drop to the base color and now as soon as i drag we are in this projection mode you can see the stencil here and i'm going to scale this so we can hold s key and right mouse drag to zoom in zoom out and s key left mouse drag to rotate it like this so let me undo and let's make let make it straight more straight okay and hold s and middle mouse to pan so it's like normal alt and left middle right mouse in this case it's you no know, just adjusting the stencil so we can also adjust the model behind there by just holding alt and the normal navigation we used to do so here i'm going to again hold s right mouse drag to scale i'm positioning this one symbol right at the center there and now i'm going to adjust the brush size as it it is too big so hold control right mouse just to adjust the brush uh, it's kind of you no know, soft brush we can change the brush to hard or we can hold control right mouse and up down your brush to make it sharp so now i'm going to paint here like this something like this okay and then to get rid of this stencil i can just go here and just turn off that color image you can see we can just close this and we are ready to go and still we are in this projection mode so let's go to brush mode and you can see it here and i got some you no know, the the repetition part here so let's go to eraser and erase you no know, all these unwanted areas so this is the way to you know bring any png images and print those here on the model so let me erase carefully here okay something like this you can see beautiful looking texture here we can see that this side because we are like overlapping uvs so whatever i'll do uh, on one side it's going to visible on the other side okay so again i'm going to put something here at the back maybe so again let's do that so i'm going to again turn on the projection so let's go to the self and let's see which thing i can use here maybe this number 
so let's drag and drop that okay now i think this it's kind of you know, stretching the texture a little bit so let's see if we can use this now i can see it's looking cool and let me again close it get out of the stencil the projection and let's take the eraser and erase unwanted areas so you can see it's quite useful so go ahead and do this and in the next lecture i'm going to render the character and we are going to you know complete this course with that lecture so see you there